We are reaching out to gather like-minded makers and practitioners to talk about not only the traditions of, of hot glass and its techniques, its, its aesthetics, its forms, but also how we move the tradition of hot glass into the future. The event is really exciting because we're even going a step further in how we're gathering people together around the technique. There's live demonstrations with artisan experts in hot glass, but uh, at the same time there are live video streams on large screens around the hot shop and the workshops showing connections to Venice Murano, where they're doing some talks today, and also the Reichsfeld Academy in the Netherlands, who also has a specialist facility in hot glass. I'm always developing myself and so at the minute I'm at this like really tense point in my practice where I'm trying to move on to the next level. So I'm using this as an opportunity to, in public, do a next step development. So I'm going to be testing a piece from a new series of work that I'm developing slowly, slowly. So Elliot is going to make a spine. It has a loop in it and it's called the unbroken back. I haven't made it with him before. He has done only one test in the past. It's going to be interesting, you know, it's not resolved, but it's always good to, for people to see things go wrong and people working it out as they're making, because that's a huge part of it. And problem solving is a massive part, so we're going to be doing a bit of that. And obviously the piece could break, and I'm prepared for that. And I think if it does happen, it's actually quite good, because it can show that that's part of a professional process as well. It's really important that we're always looking at each other and always talking and always communicating and trying and thinking about the step ahead. Today I'm working on an experimental piece, which I haven't really attempted before. Basically, I've lampworked some glass components and I'm going to be combining it with blown glass forms in the hot shop. We'll see if it works out. It may just be a complete disaster, but I guess that's kind of the beauty of an event like this, is that you can actually go outside your comfort zone and um, really try new things. But really with the people that we've around today, we've got our own students and we've got alumni coming back to help. So it's all hands on deck and you've got different experiences that you can pull together to actually pull something off like this. I think um, the reason why the world needs creatives now more than ever is because the culture of a, of a society and the culture of a country, it comes from the creative people within that culture, you know, people who are making the food of the culture, people who are making the arts and the costume, the fabric, the, you know, everything that adorns a culture comes from creative minds and so that's why I think it's important.